Hello everybody, welcome to Kerbal Space Program Episode 7. Today we will be recontinuing the uh, series on that space station. So my um, first objective here is to create the uh, research wing of the uh, station, I think. Is that right? Well, we're about to find out. Um, as you can hear, I got the uh, audio of the game working. However, I still couldn't record my mic. So I'm doing that, you know, after the fact. But that's okay. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that we're doing research. And we're just going to, uh, yeah, this, yeah. It's either that or the, um... Oh, no, 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 I know what we're doing, sorry. I think not research, because we did that last episode, didn't we? Never mind, I'm just a plain old idiot who can't seem to get their uh, episodes correct. But, um, whatever. Uh, so yeah, this is research. Um, sorry, I recorded this episode like a while ago. In fact, so I'm doing this commentary on the 31st, and I recorded this on the 26th. So, uh, sorry about all that. But anyways, um, so yeah, we're just gonna figure this all out. And I'm just gonna start a time lapse now. And here you see me uh, messing around with some robotic arms. Um, I was thinking that I was going to put like a uh, remote satellite on this or something. In the end, I do ditch it, but I'm starting to think it it looked nice. And um, on um, on some uh, futuristic on some future satellite, I might use it. But this is definitely not the one to use it on. Uh, though I do think it does look kind of nice. Um, I'm thinking that that was too big of a uh, arm. Definitely in my opinion. Now that I'm looking at it. But you see, uh, I end up going through tons of testing that I'll probably cut out. Um, but anyways, the music is starting to die down, which means that very shortly, the time lapse is about to be over. So, and here we are going out to test it right about now. And uh, here we are out on the runway with Bob and the other one, I think Jensen. Um, either way, I was going to uh, look, you know, so I was going to test how well this arm was going out and then going in. And then I was thinking to myself, well, that definitely doesn't, you know, go very well. And I'm honestly surprised that there was. Is it just me or has the music in Global Space Program actually, like, dropped? I don't know. It was probably just me, but whatever. Um, so, um, yeah, I just kept on trying this.
until I said, nah, I gotta go back and redo this all over again. So, note to self, uh, never set my, um, my time lapses to 1500%. That's not good. Anyways, so here I am, I'm just trying to tweak around with this a little bit more. And once again, you know, just wasn't working. Eventually, I just thought to put it into... Well, that was embarrassing. Uh, my grandmother ended up just calling me down. It's nothing. So, yeah. Um, anyways, I just keep on going around. And, um... Eventually, I... Eventually, I think that I get it just right. See, this is the wonders of, um, voiceovers. Because it's not live. Well, well, yeah, it's not live, so I can end up going on big tangents sometimes. I can go off to space. I can do whatever. One time I almost talked about geopolitics for another, like, in 30 minutes. Can not the F word, because that will get me demonetized. Please don't demonetize my tiny little channel, YouTube. And please don't get rid of it. Because that's... I mean, like, my channel brings me joy. So, uh, YouTube, can you be a buddy? Thanks. Love you. Definitely love you. Definitely don't hate you, I promise. Anyways, uh, that last thing down there was literally just for symmetry. And now, I am actually launching this thing into space. As you can tell by the gradually declining music starting now. And then, here we are. Out in space. And yes, it is very laggy. Um, I'm probably going to have this part be a time lapse. Who knows? This is the joys of editing. But um, because of just how glitchy, well not glitchy, just how like, um, because of just how laggy this is. I don't know. So yeah, I decided to at least speed up my approach because the approach is, you know, it's standard and just laggy as hell. Um, but eventually, you know, I get like close and this is when the real fun starts. By the real fun, I mean the real hell. Because it took me for fucking ever. Um, but this one was not actually anywhere near as bad as I had expected at first. So there's that. However, it is still kind of hell. And as you can tell, there is mostly sound in one ear. That is not my fault, nor is it my recording software's fault. That's just the way that Kerbal Space Program is. And, um... I've slowed it down so that this is like the near approach, as I would call it. And like, right now, it's just, the most difficult part for me is not getting to the space station. It's actually when I'm within a few meters of the space station. That's when I get, that's when I have problems. Because it, at this, like, when you're out there and in the back. You could go for like, you could go all over the place. You can make a tiny mistake and that's easy to, uh, you know, correct when you're out there. But here, when you're on this close approach, you make a tiny, tiny mistake and suddenly you're facing the wrong direction. 
and suddenly you all of a sudden just destroy the space station altogether. Also, every single time I look at the space station, I hate that little protrusion. And I wish that there was a way for me to get rid of it, but there's not. Not without destroying the space station at least. Or redoing the entire space station, which no, I'm not doing that. I've spent too many times, you know, making this one. Although I'm thinking that, um, I'll probably wrap this one up soon. Um, because in the next few episodes, and there we are, sorry. In the next few episodes, you see that, um, a lot of stuff gets, like, really, um, no, my chance. A lot of the things get like really, you know, closed, and I think I'll probably just do a uh, a ground to space mission once. Um, but anyways, this is when I actually decide to uh, get rid of that, to uh, redo this, which kind of sucks because I worked hard and long on this portion, and then I just said, "Bishna." I don't know why I closed the radiators or the solar panels. Um, oh, because I wanted to open the satellite. Yeah, it turns out that the satellite and the radiators and stuff were already, they were all bound to the same key anyway, so I said, no, I'm just, I'll just burn this up in the atmosphere. Oh, I don't think I actually burned it up in the atmosphere. I think that I'd probably just let it go. It would have been way more fun to watch it burn up in the atmosphere. Oof, there's the loud noise. Sorry if you're uh, sensitive to loud noises. Well, this is proof of the concept, at least. I don't remember what I was doing there. It, it's too small on my screen for me to really see. But, uh, oh well. So I'm probably just gonna skip past this now. And here I um, decide to uh, do a little bit extra to the um, to the research wing, including adding some actually unimportant. I mean, definitely important carbals. And I think I also um, I don't remember what I was doing there. All I know is later on I actually get, yeah, here I'm getting rid of that space debris. Oh, I was making sure that none of that space debris was, you know, well, herbal debris. Yeah, because that would be bad. So yeah. As of what may or may not happen later. Spoilers. How do you guys like this music, huh? Um, I hope it's alright. I hope it's not too loud or too soft or whatever. You know, so once again, we're just on approach again. Going into the station. Just waiting till I'm right there. Alright, and now we are getting on near approach, as you can hear by the music dying down. And here we are. Once again, there's not really you know, much to explain here. And we are...
locked in. There we are. And that is where the research wing, I believe, just stays right there. Um, you know, it's a good orientation. Uh, they have a nice view of the, uh, of the solar panels. You know, when the solar panels aren't there, they have a nice view of something. And, uh, yeah. Once again, I was wondering if there was any way for me to get rid of it, but there's not, sadly. I'll figure something out one day, I'm sure. God, I still remember that episode, that first episode when... God, I was so embarrassed by that. Though, it is looking more like a space station. I'm also thinking about uh, that area down at the bottom, the communication. I know we spent like an, like two whole episodes actually looking at that, but I'm thinking I will actually get rid of it and replace it with a much smaller communications. But that's all up to you guys, I guess. And now I will be uh, creating an escape pod bay, which I really am not proud of, like not at all, in any way, shape, or form. So, yeah. Sorry about that, uh, my mother called me, though, um, not to shoot my own horn, but I managed to edit through the entirety of the call. So, <laughs> um, also, I have a live stream that's probably about to start in about an hour from my time that I'm, um, that I am like uh, talking right now. So, so also I should just mention the absurdity of um this escape pod that i'm making also my sister is saying uh well not saying but uh, typing the lyrics to creeper oh man and i'm both proud and disappointed at the same time um yulia if you're watching um I love you, but what are you doing? Are you okay? Do we need to talk? Anyways, yeah, so I've gotta, like, actually really hurry up this, uh, voice recording. If I'm not done within the hour, I've pretty much gotta just figure it the fuck out. Alright, so far it looks like I'm going to be playing a game called One Shot, but I don't know, you guys will know, because I'm talking from the past. You're seeing this in the future. Hi future people. Uh, yeah, this is a, a game known as Carpal Space Program. Uh, I don't know how far in the future this is going up, probably not too far, actually, most likely. I'm going to be putting it up uh, tomorrow on the 1st of August, but I actually don't know. <laughs> this is the great part about not having anybody else to edit for you, because that way, you even you have no idea what's going on. Because baby tonight, Creeper's gonna steal our stuff again, stuff again. Anyways, so now is just the approach, you know, boring stuff. So, yeah, that keeps on going. Yeah, um, there was a lot of stop starting. I mean, this is truly a massive beast. 
So yeah. Boy, this is real fun, me watching it back. Hey, do you guys mind if I go on a tangent? Oh wait, why am I asking? You don't have a choice, because this is my episode. I, I'm messing with you guys. Um, if you don't want to listen to me going on a tangent, go uh, to here. I'll put it on screen. I don't really know. But anyways, um, so one of the things I was always told before starting the YouTube channel was that there's gonna you know, be haters out there, there's gonna be critics. Um, but, you know, I always thought that, you know, my biggest critics would be my fans. The thing is, when I think about it, my biggest critic on this game has always and probably will always be myself. Because, like, friends, this is a still perf perfectly functional and, you know, Obviously, I'm doing this mostly just for, you know, a roleplay style, but if you actually think about it, this space station does exactly what it needs to do, especially this part here, but I still don't like it, which is why I may or may not have gotten rid of it later. <laughs> Anyways, but, you know, and thinking about it, I really wonder why. Why am I such a big critic of my own work? Anyways, I start off of that topic. I did a quick save here to uh, test the functionality. Hi, everybody. So if you were like 95% of people, you probably just skipped past that emotional BS and you're here. So um, yeah, we're just testing the functionality here. Um, want to make sure that the uh, space station is working and dear god I really need to fix the sound just a second and everybody should be very thankful that they don't have to deal with um with having to hear everything that I hear while I'm editing because that literally just like blasted my eardrums anyways so yes um something that I forgot until like until like oh, I had already started but only but if you notice only two of the escape pods are actually manned which annoys me I wish that I had had all three escape pods man manned but whatever um I'm showing you guys this part like normal for right now because I just want to show you guys that I did go through the effort to like do all of this and later on I do actually have to go back and fix all of the uh, debris field as well oh no no I don't actually because well because I actually end up like reverting but you guys won't see that because I did it after I finished the episode but I promise you guys I did revert flight back to uh, that last quick save Anyways, so, um, right here, I'm just lowering the periapsis down below the atmosphere level. Um, and that, you know, is, well, pretty self-explanatory there. But yeah, so... And literally, this is pretty much all I did because there's not much. And see, now you see that the uh, camera angle has changed. That means that I am now um, technically out of orbit. So yeah, um, now we're on the dark side and I kind of wish that I hadn't gotten a shot on the dark side because, I mean, 
looks so much prettier on the light side of the planet, but, you know, in this, you know, made-up scenario, well, you take what you can get, because in this made-up scenario, you're trying to rescue all the Kerbals, so it doesn't matter what side of the planet they're on, it, what matters is the fact that they're alive at the end. And uh, I did make sure that they were indeed alive at the end. So. And here we are watching Janfred Kerman um, slowly drift down along with filming Kerman. And I hope that you enjoyed. Please like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you thought about this video. This is Eris the Carbonite, signing off. Have a very good night.